World attention focuses on Warsaw, where a former royal hunting lodge is the site of new efforts to resolve the Far East crisis. U.S. Ambassador Jacob Beam heads the team of Americans here to negotiate with representatives of Red China. Communist Ambassador Wang Ping Nan heads the delegation from the Orient. In the past, the Beiping government has sought recognition of communist sovereignty over the offshore islands of Kamoi and Matsu. The aim of the U.S. at this parley is to secure agreement on demilitarizing the islands without altering nationalist sovereignty over them. Meanwhile, nationalist convoys attempting to deliver supplies from Formosa to beleaguered Kamoi find the artillery blockade formed by communist mainland guns almost impossible to run. Between shellings, the main business street of Kamoi remains charged with tension. The intermittent rains of communist artillery fire inflicts extensive damage. Members of a family pick through the wreckage that was their home. The red guns have left little to salvage. An army hospital, its sides riddled by shell fragments, the cross on the roof pockmarked, reflects the bombardment's impact on property. Inside, wounded civilians and soldiers bear grim witness to its effect on humans. Even children carry lifelong scars of the conflict. A besieged island hopes diplomacy can quiet the terrifying guns. 